ruling APC prepares for its national convention in the aftermath of its disputed state and world congresses. What should Nigerians expect when the ruling party gathers to elect new executives? Buhari is expected to sign the 2018 budget into law. Well, they say on Wednesday, we're halfway into the year. What does this pretend? And thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Shion Okimali at Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos. Let's get to it, everyone. It is 242 days to the general elections. We promise to always bring you up to speed on the latest happenings on preparations with running, with not party politics and election-related issues. Sit tight, everyone, and let's begin tonight. As a race for the number one seat in Emo State gets thicker by the day, New aspirants have continued to emerge each day on the different political platforms. The latest of such is a declaration of a renowned leadership and motivational speaker, Mr. Linus Okori, who has indicated interest to contest the number one seat in Imo State under the platform of the Young Progressives Party, YPP. During his official declaration in Oweri, the Imo State capital, Mr. Linus Okori says the only way a state and country can function properly is by instituting proper leadership. He said as a long-time leadership coach, he will bring on his wealth of experience to ensure Imo State is taken to greater heights. I am young in my early 40s. I am hungry for a transformation. I'm hungry to make a difference. I'm hungry to leave a legacy. That is what drives me to please God on the subject matter of leadership, to model leadership in the political space that has never been seen before. Young people are looking for role models in the political space. Linus Okorie will be that role model I will lead. The good men, the outstanding people of the world, to seek for the office of the governor of Innocence. Linus Okori, motivational speaker, leadership development expert, seeking for the top job of Emo State. Let's move quickly away from the Southeast region to a more national uh, party politics. The APC is a make or ma national convention is slated to hold the Saturday. Expectations are also high that the APC will elect a new chairman with a clear agenda to lead the party into the election year. Well, convince those who have doubts and insist they have not fulfilled their election promises. But a convention uh, with more than 6,000 delegates expected to participate, the APC is in no doubt making efforts to silence critics who have criticized them for lacking internal democracy. It is their first convention in four years. The party is more divided after the state and world congresses that left them with factions, disagreements, and court processes. Will the party be able to amend the world? 